Hello friends and welcome back to Peaceful Harvest. We're here in the kitchen today of the starter base and I've got something really cool to show you. So if you've watched a few of my videos you might know I'm a bit of a collector. So I have been collecting all of the saplings for the trees in Pam's Harvest Craft and I've got the full set now. I'm not 100% sure if I've got all the crops but if I haven't I think I'm pretty close. So what I've been collecting these for, let me show you. We're just going to pop over to the other base. It's all autumny and beautiful now, which goes really nicely with my yellow area here. So this is my mega base, which I am partway through building. You might see all the leaves have turned orange for autumn. It's looking really pretty here. And I have built something cool inside. So if we head over to this area over here, this is going to be the dining room and the kitchen. And in the pantry, there's a surprise. <laughs> so you know last time I kind of said, oh, I'm going to have a basement on the other side. Well, the basement is now built and it's massive. Look at all this space. But even this might not be big enough. This is the door here to the outside. So what am I planning to use this space for? Well, <laughs> I mentioned really early in the series that I wanted to make every single Harvest Craft food. And that is a lot of foods. 13 pages of foods. <laughs> so these are all the kind of raw foods here. Um, there's all the seeds, but I'm not collecting those, just the foods. And here you can see some of the different foods. There are a lot. One of the big sections of food uh, is the juices, jellies and things like that where you can make it out of loads of different fruits. So I've got a little setup made. So we've got a juice station, this is the recipe for the juices, jelly, smoothies, pie, jelly toast, yogurt and jelly sandwiches. So. <laughs> I'm going to collect loads and loads of these raw ingredients, so like lots of bread, lots of butter, uh, lots of yoghurt, lots of taste, and then I'm going to bring some of the berries and we're going to make all of these different items. So that'll tick a huge amount off of our list already. I've already got a bunch of almond butter in here, got some yoghurt, and this is the first step, and the rest of the basement is going to be for all the other foods. Oh my gosh, I know this is a lot, but I'm so looking forward to it. I love making the foods. And since I've got all the saplings, I would really like to make an orchard. Um, so maybe we'll start with that today. Now I've got to decide where a good spot for an orchard is. Hmm. Okay, so I'm up on my viewing platform. So we've got the house here, four more gardens. And this is where the horses are in the stable. I want to make a maze, maybe that, I haven't 100% decided, maybe this would be good for the orchard though. Hmm, because the horses are all going to mainly live across here. This whole area <laughs> is going to be full of horses, I made a lot of horses. Yeah, I think this might be a good area for the orchard, it's going to be near to where I'm building things, so the, the fruit will actually grow. Like my worry is if I build it like somewhere like over there, Yes, there'll be plenty of space, but will it be close enough for the fruit to grow when I'm building around the house? Mm, not sure. Like, I guess here is a good spot too. Oh, choices, choices. This would actually be really good. An orchard here or an orchard there. Let me go count how many saplings I've got. So we've got 9, 18, 27. 36, 45, 45 saplings. That's a lot of saplings. Okay, we can do this. Okay, possibly slightly controversial, but I've decided to split the orchard up into two parts. Part one, all the fruit trees. They don't quite fit in the one box, but here they are. And secondly, I'm gonna have all the things like the nuts and the spices like nutmeg and vanilla and things are gonna be in a separate area. So all the nutty ones are gonna be kind of over here because this is a smaller area and all the fruit trees are gonna be over here. So winter has come and covered everything in snow. I guess parts of it look kind of pretty, but it is a little bit annoying to shovel. <laughs> so the orchard is coming along pretty nicely. I placed all the trees. 
and most of them have grown. So here are all the nutty ones and the ones like vanilla and the spices and things. A couple of them haven't grown up yet, but don't worry, they will grow up soon. I might have to get a bit of bone meal on some of them because sometimes they don't like growing if there's like stuff around them. But for the most part, it should be fine. And over here, we've planted the trees. There wasn't actually enough space to fit all of them on this side. So I've had to extend to the other side as well, which means the maize will definitely have to live elsewhere. But they look so pretty. I really like this little path that goes between them. And a few of them still have to grow up, but that's okay too. Like the breadfruit. And the avocado. <laughs> So I kind of did them alphabetically, so I started like apple, apricot, avocado, banana, etc, etc. So they go down here, and then they come over this side. And there's a little avenue here as well. So now that I've got all the fruit trees in, let's start making some of the delicious foods from Pam's. Okay, so the first ones are not even trees. So there's blackberry, blueberry, cactus fruit. Oh, candleberry. I don't know if I've got any candleberries. Oh, these are all the berry ones first. Yeah, these are definitely ones aren't true. Oh, orange is a tree. Peach. Okay, let's just do them in order or I'm definitely going to miss them out. So we're going to try and find blackberries, blueberries, Cactus fruit, candleberries. Let's try just those four. Blackberries, blueberries, cactus fruit, candleberry. <laughs> oh, hang on, I bet there's some of you. Okay, so what have I got? We've got elderberries, aloes. What elderberries? Mulberries. Let's have a look in the inside. We've got loads of stuff in storage. Okay, here we go. So we've got blackberries, awesome. We've got loads of those. Uh, is it these blueberries? Aha, uh -huh, it's different blueberries. Do we have any of these ones? Ooh, I'm not sure if we do. Okay, what was the next one? Cactus fruit, that's in the kitchen, I think. And candleberries. What do the candleberries look like? They're kind of green. Um, but you can make a lot of them with sweet berries as well. So I'm gonna take some sweet berries. Can we see any? Is that barrel cactus, not cactus fruit? Okay, let's go look in the kitchen. <laughs> I knew I had some cactus fruit. There you go. And what's this one? Cranberries. Okay, that's on the list. Somewhere. That's the next one. We can take that too. Uh, what else is up here? Oh, that's way more. Oh, no, hang on. This is blueberries. Yeah, we do have some. Nice. And that's blackberries. Sure, we can take some of those. Oh, I already got some. Oops. Uh, We've got lots of blackberries now. <laughs> okay, so our first one is blackberry. So we need the juice out here. Let me pop some of these out of the way a little bit. Got blackberries. And we need a juicer. Oh, it's all going to go in my backpack. Let's turn that off for now. And we want to make, oh gosh, we've got a lot of options. Uh, blackberry juice. Yeah, yum yum. Okay, so I'm going to store them in these cupboards, I think. Cool. And then we're going to make jelly, so we need some sugar. Do we have sugar? Oh, I should go and get a bunch of sugar. Please hold. Okay, I'm back, and I've got plenty of sugar now. Okay, so I need the pan. And make the jelly. Nice. Oh, I think I might actually need to make two jellies because I think 
yeah you need one over here for the jelly toast and for the jelly sandwich okay so you take three jellies pop that back then we've got the smoothies so we need a piece of ice Oh, it's so cute. I like the way the smoothies look with the little piece of fruit on. <laughs> oh, let's put that back. <laughs> okay, now we're making a pie. Okay. So we've got wheat dough. Uh, some more sugar. We'll steal some from the other cabinet. That's no problem. And one of our berries and the bakeware. So bakeware, dough, sugar, and blackberry. <laughs> nice. Oh, hang on. This is a blackberry cobbler. Is that right? Oh, we want. Oh, there's two different things that have the same recipe. Oh, okay. Where are the cobblers in hand? Are there a whole load of cobblers too? Oh, there's only two. Okay, that's not so bad. Blackberry and peach. Cool. Uh, so we're making the pie for now. Put that in there. Lovely. Now we want to make the jelly toast <laughs> with our toast. Blackberry jelly toast. Awesome. Oh, it looks so cute. What a lovely color. And the yogurt. And pop that in there with our blackberry. Oops, <laughs> that's nice that it sits like that as well. Come on, come here. Put you back up there. Oh, they're so cute. It's gonna be so nice when they're all done. Okay, we need a piece of bread for this one and some butter. Okay, and the jelly sandwich. <laughs> okay, awesome. That's gonna take me a little while, but I'll make all the different fruits. And I will catch up with you in a little bit when hopefully there'll be a lot more food in these cupboards. Well, that took a while, but now, as you can see, all the cupboards are full of delicious snacks. The only ones we're missing are these four here, Candleberry, Huckleberry, Juniperberry, and Raspberry. So we're gonna have to figure out some way to get those ones. I'm not 100% sure that I can get all of them, but we're gonna give it a go. I'll ask some of the other server members and see if they can help me out with that. I've got to get a whole lot of item frames and cover all of these walls with them for every single food item. We have got so many, <laughs> got so many to find. Apologies if I can hear my cat meowing. So there are a lot of basic foods and I thought I had all of them. But I'm not 100% sure that I do. So I might start out by getting all the basic ones. Now, how many do we have here? Uh, I've got seven, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, lots. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, some of them are a bit cooked, not just the basic ones. Okay. I definitely want to get every single one. Um, Wow, there are so many. <laughs> not the seeds though, not the seeds. We don't need those. Okay. I think the next project will be to get all of these different foods, like all the basic crops. Um, but maybe we should cook something fun for today. What do you like? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, the smoothies. i got to show you the smoothies. Look at them. They're so adorable. Um, they've all got their little fruit on the corner. The strawberry one's really nice. And look at the banana one. Kiwi, the mango. They're really cute. I might have to do some kind of display. Look at the little star fruit one. Um, yeah, what would be a fun thing to make today? Oh, is that more toasts? Oh, there are some more. It's all right. I'll get them all as I go through, like, 
one by one. Uh, maybe we should cook the most panniest of foods, <laughs> the epic bacon. So you're going to need a cook pot, chop up some bakeware, and then a whole bunch of different colours. I hope you're right back. It is really handy in cases like this to have your very own room of dyes. Okay, we should have all the ingredients now. Let's just pop down a crafting table and hopefully, epic bacon, where are you? <laughs> oh, I forgot the bakeware, that's why we can't make it. Okay, let's see. Yes, we can make it. Ah, can we do two? Okay, one by one. Uh, nope, I can do two. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is like the signature Pam's Harvest Craft food. Uh, so I'm really happy to have made it. Okay, let's, uh, we've made one to eat and one to put on the wall. So where are we going to put it? Like, oh, where should we start? Should we start like in the middle with like really cool foods? Oh, why not? Right in the middle. Uh, here. There we go, epic bacon, that's so cool. Right, now I've got one more thing I want to do today. Hopefully I'll get hungry enough to eat this snack as we're going. Oh, it's just done, that's nice. I think it's summer now, so everything's looking a little bit more green, which is lovely. I oh, wish you go see the garden while we're here as well. I'm gonna need some wood and some buckets. Um, here's some wood. I want some stone. I'm just gonna grab a few supplies, I'll be right back. Okay, my supplies have been acquired. And wow, look how cute this looks in the summer when it's all green. It's really nice. The green of the hedges is gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> the orchard is looking really full and lush as well. Oh, there's still a tiny bit of snow over here. Don't worry, that'll go away soon though. So I'm gonna head in here. And I've got a little secret hiding just here. <laughs> So this is actually access oh, into the area under where I landscaped. And if you keep going down, oh, it's really dark here. I didn't bring any lights. Oh no, it's okay. There's some down there. I'll grab one of those. That's a little bit better. So there's an amethyst here. <laughs> so if I want more amethyst pieces, I can pop down and I've got a whole area of them. And because it's underneath where I am all the time, the amethysts grow really quickly. So I've always got loads to harvest. Yeah, I want some of the smaller ones. I always come down too late um, and they're all really big. So if I see any of the smaller ones, I'll grab them. So I want to keep access to this area because it's really useful to have all the amethysts. Um, but I don't want a kind of ugly little hole in the floor, which is what I've got at the moment. I mean, it's not that bad. I could just like stick a trap door on it or just leave it because it's just like one block of water. But I want to make something a bit cuter. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's not so bad, I guess. But don't you think a little well would look really cute here? So I've got some limestone and some of the red mushroom wood. Um, and I think that'll make a really cute little well. I want to make a tiny one, but I want to make sure I've also got space to get in it. So I might have to do it a little bit bigger than I was hoping. But there should be enough room here. Hmm. If there's not enough room here, I was also thinking about putting it over here. That could work better actually. Maybe I'll pop it here. Let's just see what, ah! That, that was a, <laughs> that was my vein. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, that was the wrong one. Um. <laughs> Oops, where did all the blocks go? Did they all fall down somewhere or did I get most of them? Oh man, that was that was a shock. Okay, well, <laughs> we definitely can make a way down here. So yeah, maybe I'll do a little like a little one here and then I'll make this over here into a bubble vater so it's much easier to get up and down. Okay, let's put a little bit of the floor back in. <laughs> oh dear me. So I want the well to be like roughly circular. <laughs> I was thinking like I'd just like to do like one block of water, but I want to put a chain, like as in like for a bucket in. Um, and I don't think that is gonna allow me to also fit into the hole for when I wanna go down. So 
I think if I want to do the chain, it's going to have to be an odd number, which means it's going to be three by three. So if I do it, so I'm kind of coming out of here, I kind of make my little, make my little pack, something like that. Mm, yeah, that's good. I kind of want to do maybe like this is the center. Two, three. Two, three. Oops. So yeah, if the hole is going to be like this big, I mean, maybe I can make it like a cross shape. Hmm. I kind of feel like I should have like a wall down as well. Maybe I need some stone, like some mossy stone. Okay, let's do the top bit first and then we can worry about that afterwards. So I want to do like three on each side, I think. And then pop this in to make it a little bit of a smoother corner. Mm, that's okay. I mean, do I want to make a bigger well? I don't know. <laughs> I could do this on the middle. That's kind of cute. Um, let's sleep. Let's sleep on it. <laughs> Okay, I have filled the well up with water. I put some cobble down here and as you come down, one corner is the exit. And I put a lantern there so it's easy to see. And at some point I'm gonna make this into a much easier to a much easier to traverse um bubble later. So that'll be good. So you'll take the bubble Oh dear, I can't speak today. So you'll take the bubble vater all the way down to the amethyst, but then you'll do this last little bit here just by swimming up <laughs> very nice okay let's decorate this top area oh i can eat the epic bacon now oh, it's so pretty <laughs> that's awesome it's really colorful it'd be a weird thing to eat in real life though bacon like that's got loads of colored dyes on it <laughs> is that good or should it be on the interior one hmm questions questions That might be too narrow, right? Oh, I don't know now. Um, <laughs> well, it should be at least three high, right? Hmm. Oh, I can't decide if I like the post on the inside or the outside. Let's do it on the outside for now, just because that seems to make more sense to me. Um, so I'm thinking a kind of like circular-ish design. Oops. <laughs> if I if I can manage to uh, to, to do that. Oops. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm kind of liking it with holes in. That's kind of pretty. Is that weird? Maybe I can put, like, leaves in it. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of pretty. <laughs> I was just doing it to get rid of the, like, double block that was there, but I kind of like that. Oh, it looks pretty cute. I like it already. Yeah, it's pretty cute already. <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Yes, definitely. Okay, let's add a little bit more path here. So we can show it's been like, really used. Oh, I need to get rid of the snow, but I'm worried about breaking the blocks underneath. Oh, I really wish you could stop it from snowing in your area. It makes such a mess. Like, it can look really pretty. Yeah. But I wish it would either not fall so much or just melt away in the summer. Yes, that is very nice. Okay, to pick that up. What else? Maybe like a couple of flower pots or something? Okay, so I went and got a whole load of decorative things and I realised that I forgot 
the signature item of the well. <laughs> so I'm going to add that on. We've got that there. Oh, and if we pop the chain on, awesome. Oh, I should have like um, a cauldron hanging down. Okay, let's pop the chain in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, actually, should I do it that high? Um, I could do it that high, or I could put it into the water. I was planning to do it a little bit lower. Um, let's have a look and see what looks the best. Maybe we can have it look one lower. And that looks, oh, that looks pretty cool. Um, just to see how it looks, let's try having it like a couple lower. One, two, right, we're in the water now for sure, right? Yeah. Oh no, can I not waterlog it? Oh, you can't tell from above. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I think I like it this way. Oh, it's waterlogged. Oh no, kind of, not quite. <laughs> That's okay, you can't tell. Oh yeah, I added a couple of amethysts. I thought because it's the root to the amethyst cave, then it would make sense to have amethysts around it. I got some of the smaller ones as well. I really need to make sure I keep popping back down to get them at the right growth stage. I was wondering if the soul lanterns would look nicer. So I'm just gonna try one. I'm not sure actually. Hmm, let me add some more flowers and things and I'll see. I also have this cool statue. Um, where should we put it? Maybe like here, just next to the path. It's so cute. And you can give him something to hold. So I thought maybe one of these shards. <laughs> That's so cute. It kind of looks like an arrow as well pointing towards there. Okay, what else did we bring? We bought, oh, I found a goblet and some flowers. But it would look kind of mysterious to have like a goblet on the edge of the well as though you could come up and have a drink. Yes, beautiful. And a couple of flower pots. Maybe one here. And over here. Oh, I think I picked up some tulips as well. Nice. Very cute. That is coming together. Now a few of these little crystals. I <laughs> love the noise. Maybe one even growing on there. That's nice. Oh, could it grow like from the top? <gasps> so cute. I love it. Oh, not from there. Um... <laughs> oh it's so gorgeous oh I love it okay okay this is turning out really nicely and just a few more around here I've got so many of the big ones See, like on the wall oh that's nice Getting under there Okay, I think that's looking really cute. Now, decisions on the lantern. Eee, I don't know. <laughs> oh, they both look great, honestly. I don't think that's a wrong choice. I think I'm gonna leave it as the sole one for now but leave me a comment if you think I should switch it back to the regular lantern. Oh, that is looking really nice. I really like that a lot. 
well I am going to leave it here for today I think it has been a super duper productive episode we have made a lot of progress this time and all oh, this well is so much cuter than I thought it would be I like it a lot so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you had a nice time today and I'll see you all next time bye